Hey guys, oh what's up? I just want to come on here and let you know that some of the videos that you're going to see right now are old videos. That's why they're going to have the hashtag TBT. I'm just trying to get videos from my old channel over to this one because this is the channel I'm sticking with and I don't want to lose some of the old footage that I have. So, thanks for sticking around. I hope I'm introducing you to new videos and a different side of me that you may not have seen before. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, good morning. Greg and I are in the process of making our crock pot meal for the day. I'm still not feeling well. I feel sick. I feel like I just got like every my eyes are watery, my nose is running. I just feel like crap. But I have a little bit of energy, so we're gonna cook. So Greg is planning on searing the meat. We have pork, right? We have pork. We have pork loin. So have beef broth that's going to go into the um, crock pot. Here's a crock pot. And we've got potatoes, lots of potatoes. So this will be good. And then we've got carrots. Oh, and we have the Mrs. Dash pot roast. This is something new that we're trying, so we're going to let you guys know what we think of it. And of course, how it smells and all that good stuff, because we like to smell things. <laughs> Don't get too strong. I mean, too close. It's too strong. It's really strong. Does yeah, but it smell bad or does it smell my good? My nose is messed out though now. You're not supposed good. to get that close to it. It smells like McCormick, like when I used to go to the warehouse. All right. And you don't have to get good. Close. Yeah, you can smell it. All right. Your nose is not that stopped up, believe me. Oh yeah. Oh, I can smell it, but it's not too bad. But yeah, it's actually. It doesn't it smell like garlic, good. which that was. I didn't want the garlic ones, but everything else has garlic. Nothing but garlic. Okay. All right. So. We're going to start to sear the meat and then we'll kind of take you along this journey and then we'll let you know how it is. Um, but the pork loin that we've been getting is, is that from um, Aldi's? Yeah. Okay. So we've been getting that and that's actually been really good. We've had some, some good um, pot roast from that so far. Really but tender. yeah, it's really tender. So, but mm -hmm. we're going to test out the um, Mrs. Dash and see how that works. But I think it'll be good. And the beef broth actually really adds like some amazing flavor. We tried that last time and it came out really good. So that's why we're doing that again this time. So we'll check in in a bit. Okay, Greg is searing up the meat. Looking pretty good. We're trying this. This is something different for us. So we're going to see if it gives the um, roast a completely different flavor. Oh, and we added onion too because we almost forgot to add onion. So we're going to cut this up. Yay! I have my school mess over here <laughs> and Digger's laying on this pile and I always get yelled at because the pile just sits there and Digger always climbs on top of it even though he's uncomfortable. <laughs> he doesn't look like he wants to be bothered now though so we'll leave him alone. Alright, and just for anybody who's wondering, Greg doesn't put anything in this pan, so he just heats up the pan and puts the meat in there. There's no oil, there's no butter, there's no nothing. It's just the meat and heat. Ha, ah, that rhymes. Oh, so smart. I should become a rapper. Okay, you guys. Greg's putting the beef broth in the measuring cup. Digger wants to be heard in there. And then he's going to mix in the Mrs. Dash. And then he's just going to mix it all together. It's starting to smell like pot roast now. It does smell good. Okay. I can't believe I can smell it. That's the part that I was wondering if it would be like that. The Mrs. Dash part. Yeah, you can definitely see the uh, flakes in here. God, it does smell good. I bet you this is really going to taste good. Okay, so Greg and I are getting ready to, to start putting things into the crock pot. And before we do that, let me show you. This is how handle our crock pot. So 
We don't trust the heat of the crock pot because we felt the countertop before and it felt pretty, pretty hot. So we ended up with putting the crock pot on the stove. We put it on the cookie sheet and we put it here. And this just kind of makes us feel a little bit better. I know a lot of people leave their crock pots all day. We don't do that. If we're going to use a crock pot, we make sure that we're home just because, I don't know, we're scared. I don't want to come home and not have a house. I, I just don't. So that's what we do. And then we just use this as an extra security measure so that it doesn't crack our countertops because countertops are not cheap. Oh, cutting up onion. Oh my god, I love onion. It's a good thing I already bagged my husband. I don't need to go find a mate. He'd hate all the onions I eat. You love me though, right, babe? Yep, terribly. Onion smell and all? And peppers. <laughs> I got the meat. We're adding the potatoes. Throwing the big hunks of onions. Greg likes the flavor of onions. He just doesn't like to eat onions. That's a big one there. And this should cover us for today and tomorrow, which is going to be good because we're supposed to get snow. And we'll probably be eating on this for the whole day tomorrow. Hopefully I won't have to go to work tomorrow. Keep your fingers crossed for me. So we're going to add in the carrots and then the broth. And then that's pretty much it, right? Well, then more vegetables. Yeah, well, lots of vegetables. You gotta have lots of vegetables. Greg was looking for um, celery, but he couldn't find any. But the Mrs. Dash has the celery um, seed in there, so that's good. And the potatoes are small enough; we don't have to cut them up. And he's just gonna pour the beef broth and the Mrs. Dash. And we'll add in a few more vegetables and then we will we'll be all set and we've got it set to cook for eight hours based on this crock pot that we use the eight hours will it'll normally cook in about five hours so that's why we cook it for eight we figure we'll eat around five o'clock tonight and that everything should be should be good so that's it pretty easy all right we're looking at how much vegetables and meat we have in here so Greg's gonna add about a cup of water to this just to kind of add some more liquid that's it's a weird looking carrot legs in the tail. it's like a tooth or something it's weird <laughs> all right so so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna add a little bit of water to it too so I just wanted to let you guys know that Hey guys, I am getting ready to go to the grocery store because I have to pick up some salsa because I don't have any. Yeah, I know it's insane that I'm going to the store to get salsa um, when we've got a snowstorm coming and I probably really shouldn't go to the store, but whatever. Oh, do I have my money? I don't even know if I have money. That wouldn't be good. Um, but I wanted to come on here because we're supposed to get down into like the teens. Do I have money? Yes, okay. We're supposed to get down into the teens, I think tonight. Well, I don't know. We're supposed to hit single digits by tomorrow. So, just to kind of show you guys, this is where we're at right now. 44 degrees, and then tomorrow we'll be in single digits with lots of snow. Alright, so dinner's finished way early, too. Looks good. Yeah, searing it helps together a little. Okay. You tasting it? Come out good? Yeah. Alright. Mrs. Dash is pretty good. The Mrs. Dash came out good? Yeah? Okay. Let's see. Alright. Oh, yeah, it did. Yeah, it came out pretty good. Alright, we're gonna. Make our dinner.